What's going on, everybody? I'm Perry White, and this is On The Yard Sports. Be sure to go follow and subscribe on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter right now. Here's a look at the 2022 Bethune-Cookman Wildcats. Daytona Stadium, located in Daytona Beach, Florida, is home to the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats, where they have won four home games or more in eight of the past ten years. In that last 10 years, they're currently 38 and 11 overall in that state. Terry Sims was introduced as the 15th head football coach at Bethune Cookman University on December the 22nd, 2014. He took over the program after spending the previous five years as an assistant coach for the Wildcats. Coach Sims is now entering his seventh season as the head football coach at Bethune Cookman University, where he has an overall record of 36 and 30, and now joining the SWAC, he has a conference record of 2 and 6. Let's take a look at the fall 2021 football schedule for the Bethune Cookman Wildcats as they finish the season 2 and 9 overall and 2 and 6 in conference play. During the 2021 season, the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats offense ranked 8th in the SWAC, averaging 24 points a game on the season. And defensively, they ranked 10th in the SWAC, giving up an average of 36 points a game. It was their first season in the SWAC, and they struggled going 2-6. and six. This is not like the MEAC Bethune-Cookman we've seen. So the bigger question is, in 2022, will they be able to compete in the SWAC and be able to make a name for themselves as a team that can play for a SWAC championship? For me, the biggest question coming out of the 2022 offseason for the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats will be, are they SWAC ready? We saw them go 2-6 and six in year one as they transitioned into the conference. It was not the traditional Bethune-Cookman team that we've seen compete in the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference in the past, where they've been right there in the conversation for conference championships. This team had some depth issues, and they had issues at the quarterback position. But you go back and look at those games from last year, there were some games that this team was in. And they just let it get away from them. So I think this year, what you saw with National Signing Day, Coach Terry Sims was able to go get some guys to add to this depth chart on this team. And one of the biggest names that you see added is at the quarterback position, Jalen Jones, a guy transferred from out of the University of Florida going to Jackson State then heading to the Juco down in Mississippi, and now ultimately making his home at Bethune-Cookman. Let's see what Coach Terry Sims had to say at SWAC Media Day. We, we have a, a couple of quarterbacks, uh, Jalen Jones and uh, Walter Simmons, guys that transferred in. We, we, we still have a couple guys that have been on our team for a couple of years. Guys are working hard. I think, you know, veterans like Omari and Kamari, they're showing guys what's expected. They're showing guys how we work setting the bar, if you will, and I don't think we've had one new guy that has come into our program and not bought in. So I, I think if you watch our workouts, you look at what's going on with those guys, we have, you know, six O linemen that we added, we have four D linemen that we've added, you know, five guys in the secondary, three receivers. So we've added guys to, to come into our program. Let's take a look at the 2022 football schedule for the Bethune Cookman Wildcats. I want to thank my friends over at VersusSportsSimulator.com for sending over this projected record for the 2022 season for the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats. And as you see, they have Bethune going projected at 2-9. and nine. Best case at 4-7, and seven, worst case at 1-10. and 10. With three swing games at this schedule, you look at a 1% chance of beating Miami. Uh, they haven't had a 40% chance with one of those swing games against South Carolina State, as well as a swing game against Grambling with 60%. Three consecutive losses with low percentages against Alabama A&M, Tennessee State, as well as Jackson State. And then you see a big victory over Valley with a high percentage. And then you look at those last four games of the season, low percentages for Bethune-Cookman to get those victories with a swing game against Alabama State. Remember, these are projections. We don't know. But be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section of this video and let me know what you think the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats are going to go in 2022.
Now we're to the 2022 SWAC predicted order of finish. And if you look over in the SWAC East, the Bethune Cookman Wildcats in that fifth spot. They're going to have a, a tall mountain to climb as the Alabama State and them, Florida and them, as well as Jackson State ahead of them. Let's see what happens in 2022 for the Wildcats. And we close it out by taking a look at the preseason all SWAC selection at first team offense and defense, as well as second team offense and defense. The Bethune Cookman Wildcats with three names making this list. Let's see if those guys can be an immediate impact for the Wildcats in 2022. Remember to follow and subscribe on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, as well as Twitter at Only Yard Sports. And as always, I'm Perry White. Peace.